P-O-R-Q is a rectangle. It's worth noting that if you're going to name a shape, then you pick a vertex and you just go. Go counterclockwise, go clockwise, it doesn't matter, but I would not call this the rectangle P-Q-O-R, like why are you zigzagging? Just pick one and go in a direction, okay. P-O-R-Q is a rectangle. Based on that, you know lots of things that I will not label, but these two sides are congruent. These two sides are congruent. The diagonals are congruent. The diagonals bisect each other. These angles in the corner are 90, and then there's some other stuff that we can deal with concerning the angles. So, now we'll start labeling in green. P-S is 41. Stop right here and say everything else you know about that. That's 41, that's 82. So if they're asking things like, hey, what's PR? 82, <laughs> just saying. Um, here's what I also know, <laughs> this is neat. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So if this is 82, this is 82, well, then they must both be 41 as well. So 41, 41, just saying. So when they ask for O, Q, well, that also 82. All right, let's label some other stuff. Let it be red. S, Q, R, S, Q, well, wrong direction. S, Q, R is a 36 degree angle. And then they ask for some other things. So here's what I wanna go ahead and do before I even read the rest of the problem. I wanna go ahead and find out what the rest of this angle is. That's 90, which means that this 36 degree angle and this angle are complementary, which means they add up to be 90. So 90 minus 36 is gonna give me the 54 degree angle here. I could do that in my head, just wanted to give you a visual for it. And if you wanna get technical, and let's get technical, this is also 36, and you don't have to write all this, but everything that looks to be 36 is 36. You don't always go based on the way things look, but 36, 54, 36, but often your intuition can be correct in those things. All right, P, Q, S. P, Q, S, oh, it's 54 degrees. Okay, good. P, Q, R, don't miss this one. P, Q, R is 90. Okay, you might say, we're done, we are done. However, if they would have asked for this angle up here, easy to find it, easy, easy. Look at this triangle right here, just say it. Triangle. I see it, you see it, we both see it. 180 minus 36 a couple times, that'd be a 108 degree angle. So I'm just, I'm stating things they didn't ask in case one day they do, 108, whoever they is. And then same idea, or you could say 180 degrees minus 108, 72.